the parametric equations of the curve are x is equal to t, brackets 2t squared minus 1, y is equal to t squared minus 4. Find the equation of the tangent at the point at which the curve cuts the x-axis. Okay, so where the curve cuts the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So if we take our y, which is t squared minus 4, and put it equal to 0, we can solve this because we know that the difference of two squares is a plus b, a minus b. So factorising this, we get t plus 2, t minus 2 is equal to 0. And that's going to give me two values of t. t is minus 2 and t is 2. Now, what do I need in order to find the tangent? I need to know its gradient. And I need to know the x, uh, one x and y value, one set of coordinates are on the line. Okay, so finding dy by dx, so what we do is we differentiate each of these separately by in terms of t. So x is t, 2t squared minus 1. That's equal to 2t cubed minus t. And if I do dx by dt, that's going to be 6t squared minus 1. And then for y is equal to t squared minus 4, differentiating that dy by dt, that's going to give me 2t. Then using the chain rule, dy by dx is dy by dt times dt by dx. So dy by dt is 2t, so that will be in the numerator, we'll be multiplying by 1 over 6t squared minus 1, so that will become altogether t, 2t over 6t squared minus 1. Right, so we've got the following information. We've got two values of t, minus 2 and t. We've got dy by dx is 2t over 6t squared. And these are the x. The x value is 2t cubed minus t. And we know the y value is 0 because we're cutting the x-axis. So when t is equal to minus 2, dy by dx is going to be equal to, so substituting t is minus 2 in here, 2 times minus 2 over 6 times minus 2 squared minus 1. That gives me minus 4 times, uh, divided by 24 minus 1, which is minus 4 over 23. And then to find the x-coordinate, we know that y is 0, but to find the x-coordinate when t is minus 2, we're going to get x is equal to 2 times minus 2 cubed minus, minus 2. Be careful substituting in the negative number. That's going to give me minus 16. Because minus 2 cubed is minus 8 times 2, which is minus 16. Minus minus 2 is plus 2, so that gives me four, minus 14. Then, finding the equation of the tangent, you can use y is equal to mx plus c, but I prefer to use y minus y1 is equal to mt x minus x1. So, this will be mt, this will be x1, and this will be y1. Substituting in, we get y minus 0 is equal to minus 4 over 23 times x minus minus 14. Now, because we're dividing by 23 here, I'm going to multiply this by 23. And I'm not going to do this uh, um, expansion yet. I'm just going to write this as an x plus 14, and then I've got a minus 4 here. Right, now expanding the bracket, I get minus 4x minus uh, 56 from there. And then that get 4x plus 23y plus 56. That's so adding 56 over here and adding the 4x over here. Now I have to repeat the process for when t is equal to 2. The whole process gets repeated for t is equal to 2. Okay, so when t is equal to 2, dy by dx is going to be 2 times 2 divided by 6 times 2 squared minus 1. That gives me 4 over 24 minus 1, which is 4 over 23. My x coordinate when y is 0, when t is equal to 2, is 2 times 2 cubed minus 2. 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16 minus 2, which is 14. The equation of the tangent using y minus y1, mt, x minus x1 will be mt, x1, y1 so it'll give you y minus 0 is equal to 4 over 23 times x minus 14 putting the right values in so y minus y1 is 0 the gradient is 4 over 23 and x1 is 14 don't like the so multiply this side by 23 so you get 23y 
and then we get 4 times x minus 14. 23y is 4x, and then 4 times 14 is minus um, 56. Then writing everything on this side, I get 4x minus 23y minus 56. So taking the y over here is equal to 0 is the other equation of the tangent. So this has been a video to show you how to use parametric equations to find the tangents where the curve cuts the x-axis. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.